Like every chance I give you, you turn me off. Welcome back to another vlog. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani. What's up, what's good with you? Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So, y'all, I have to get my life together, okay? Like, I haven't vlogged in a week or so. I just got out of the shower and I'm putting my hair up in a ponytail because I'm about to go get my nails done because this is how my week has been. Like, my nails look a hot mess i just need to get my life together okay and in every vlog i feel like i'm always out of breath like that's not that's not cool like i really have to figure out how to breathe on camera <laughs> so i don't be out of breath i don't know what it is it's like when i turn on the camera i just instantly get out of breath like it's so annoying and then i'll be editing my videos and i'm like dang can you breathe <laughs> So yeah, I'm putting my hair up because I'm about to go get my nails done. Another reason why I haven't really been like in the camera like that is because y'all look at my face. Like this side isn't really as bad, but this side, like you wouldn't even be able to tell all of this is here if I was like far away from the camera, but yeah i've never ever ever broke it out this much in my life i don't think i've ever had so many bumps on my face at one time and i really don't want it to scar which is why i'm not really like doing a lot of stuff to my face anyways let me go because i'm literally late for my appointment and i haven't texted her yet so sorry felicia if you're watching this i was talking my bad girl. It's the shape for me. <laughs> it's definitely the shape. I don't know if this is the shape for me. Ten <laughs> <laughs> <Can't> away. <laughs> shape for you? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not used to wearing long nails again. Maybe I need to start off with baby nails. <laughs> Hey y'all, so the last time I talked to y'all was like at the beginning of the month and now it's the end of the month. <laughs> I talked to y'all when I was going to get my nails done. Yeah, that was on the 11th of August. Now it's the 28th or 29th. I was up all night thinking and trying to figure out stuff and coming up with like business plans, how I'm going to scale my YouTube to like, you know, bring in the income that my job was bringing in so I, I was just up doing a lot of stuff and yeah honestly i couldn't sleep but i'm still up and running i took pictures today i posted a video today i posted my self care routine during quarantine video so if y'all haven't already seen it go watch it i replied to some comments looked at my email yeah i've been i've been up and and doing stuff all day um so right now I'm about to go um, return some stuff because I got a car mount for my car and it don't work. So I'm returning that back to TJ Maxx. I could just keep it, but then again, I'm like, I can get something else for $6. And then I have to go back to Target to return this um, shower caddy that my best friend got me once again because the first one that she got me, it was black and um, I wanted like silver hardware so i just went back and exchanged it for a silver one but now this one is one is too small 
and it keeps sliding off of my shower head. I was laying in my bed and I heard like a thump and I was like, bruh, I know this is not the shower head. It's like four o'clock in the morning and I heard this. This low key scared me just now, so. Yeah, this gotta go. I mean, it was a cute idea. I don't know what I'm gonna like replace it with because it just won't stay up and I ain't got time. So I was like, nah, that's it. It's time for me to take this back because why do I have it? I am not using it. So I'm trying to figure out what to get. I want to get the bigger one, the larger one, because this one that I have is the medium. But every time I go to Target, it's sold out. So I will have to order it. Um, but I don't even know if that one will stay on my shower head. So if you guys have any recommendations on what shower caddy I can get that will stay on my shower head, please let me know. Oh, this is the Lacey hard drive that I ended up getting. And it works really good, but it still didn't solve any problems because my laptop is just done for. I just need to get another laptop. That's another thing that I was thinking about all night. I was trying to calculate how much money that I need to be investing back into my YouTube channel because like literally I need to get another um, laptop. The self-care video that I posted took me a whole entire week to edit. It was ridiculous and then it took me a while to film it so like i went through a lot to film that video and edit that video so i really hope you guys like it um i don't know how i was doing because i haven't looked at um the video again i did look at the comment section and reply to like the first couple people that were on the video but i haven't been back on there oh yeah it's echoing in here because i haven't got my furniture it got delayed once again <clears throat> So that's that. And I need to take some of my friends because I feel like I've been very bad friend lately. I just haven't been communicating with anybody like that because I've been like busy. But anyways, let's go return to stuff. And then I have to come back and clean my room because y'all, my room looks a mess. It's embarrassing. Y'all see all these boxes? These are all the shoes that I need to sell. And I went to Plato's Closet. I should have known to sanitize it before I went there. The sun, my face looks horrible. But I should have known to like sanitize and everything. But majority of the shoes in the boxes have not been worn. They're like brand new, like literally haven't even touched outside. Now I have to lug all of these boxes back upstairs into my apartment so I can sanitize them and then bring them back in my car but i'm not doing that today i'm doing that another day which is why they're just sitting back here um i just left from the ups store so i can ship off a p not a pr so i can ship off um a pretty little thing return because none of the stuff in the package could fit what is this dark okay i need to go to target now and tj maxx well i'll go to tj maxx first and then go to target but yo i just got off the phone with my friend and um, how do we even get on the subject of sugar daddies? I don't know, but he was like, you need to get a sugar daddy so we can live off of him. And I'm just like, we, like if we were in a relationship, why do I have a sugar daddy for it? You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be the provider. And then he was like, why the dude gotta be the provider? Why, couldn't the, why can't the woman be the provider? And I'm just like, why can't the man bear the kids? I feel like the man is supposed to be the provider. You need to be able to provide for your family and take care of your family at the end of the day. I'm not saying that the woman in the relationship is going to be living off of you, no, because I'm gonna have my money at the end of the day. It would be nice for you to provide so that I don't have to go half on everything in my relationship. I'm not saying that there's something wrong with women and men that are in relationships where they go half on everything. I just don't want that for me. And if you end up losing your job, I can hold it down for a bit. I'm not about to be married or in a relationship with somebody that is okay with living off of a female. That does not make any sense to me. And then if I'm going to be the provider in the relationship, why do I have you here for? Do y'all get what I'm saying? I just don't want that for me. You know what I'm saying? But then again, I haven't been in a relationship for three years, so I don't know what, what be going on out here. You know, I just be over here trying to make money. And at this point, I'm not worried about nobody's relationship because your girl just got fired. I need a job. I need to get my money in order. I'm not worrying about nobody's son trying to be my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
sir. Are you ready for this over here? I was listening to him. I'm just like, dude, every chance I give you, you turn me off. And so you're just going to stay in the friend zone because, sir, what? Going half for the rest of my life? No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll pass. All right, y'all. So I just pulled up at Homegoods because I just want to see what's in here. But I just came from TJ Maxx. I bought these little ice cubes because um, I thought they would be really cute when I'm making my like iced coffee or if I have some wine, I'll just put a big old cube in there. I don't know, you know, just something cute, nice aesthetic, you know? And I just bought two of them for $2.99. And then I got this microfiber blind cleaner because every time I clean my blinds, they're wooden, I feel like I'm breaking them. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, perfect. So hopefully this works really good because yeah, it was something random, but it might be very useful. So got that. And then I got something to snack on because I have a habit of not eating. So got this to snack on while I'm out until I get back to the house. And then I returned the little car mount that did not work. Like, I really don't want to spend the money on an actual car mount for my phone, but I feel like I might have to. I was trying to go the cheaper route, but the cheaper route is it's just not working, so yeah. Y'all, there's really nothing in here. And I thought I was gonna find some cute stuff in here, but I'm not finding pretty much anything in here. I got hangers. That's cute. Now this is cute. But it's not gonna fit the color of my room. I would rather it be white because this is gonna throw off because my headboard is like a sandish gray. But I don't I don't like how it goes out like that. Y'all see what I'm it feels out. Yep, do y'all see what I'm talking about? It's actually comfortable and really spacious. Wow. Is this real? Oh, it is. This chair right here. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. <clears throat> oh my goodness, this is so cute. <sighs> this is kind of what I was imagining. It's definitely not as comfortable as the other ones. But it's a vibe though. Yeah, I kinda, the other one was more comfortable. The arms came up a little bit higher because right now I'm just like, you know, there's no light. I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying, but yeah. This is cool though. I like this chair. I gotta see how big that couch is when it comes but it's taking forever to get delivered. So it's like stopping me from doing stuff. Those are cute. Yeah, those are really cute, but I wouldn't have those in my living room. I really came here because I wanted to find a painting, but I cannot find it. There's, there's no painting over here at all. Like, none of these paintings are what I'm looking for. have to paint my own artwork that's what it's looking like i really didn't want to paint my own artwork but 
I'd rather paint it or draw it and it comes out how I want it to, you know? Y'all see the fit? A little tomboy action going on. Yeah. They had absolutely nothing in there. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back a couple days later. I'm really bad at vlog. Well, it's not that I'm bad at vlogging. I just don't be doing anything to vlog, so I just don't vlog. So, right now, I feel really cute. So, um, I was like, let's hop on a vlog. <laughs> I know y'all be doing this too. I know, I know y'all be like, oh my gosh, I look so cute today. Let me take a picture. Or, oh my gosh, I look so cute today. And you just be in such a great mood because you feel really, really cute. And it's not even that my face is beat. My skin is clear. Well, it's clearing up. I'm so excited. Hold on, can y'all see? Y'all can't see. I really need to go ahead and leave out of the house because I need to go to the bank um and pay rent <laughs> so that's what i need to do this headband is from target if you guys are wondering um and this is from meshki um let me just talk about this real quick because i'm really getting tired of people asking me if i'm pregnant y'all i am not pregnant it's very rude for you to be asking somebody if they're pregnant if they did not come out and tell you that they're pregnant like i had this one person dm me asking me to go on a weight loss journey with them because they noticed i've been gaining weight sis do i know you no so why do you feel comfortable enough to ask me like it's just mind-blowing to me for one i've never been very slim but i've never been this big so it's very noticeable that i've gained a lot of weight like i'd be having people like Oh my gosh, you have changed. Like, what you mean? What you mean I've changed? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, wow, you just look a little different. This is down the third. And I'm just like, y'all really trying me. And then I had this one person that asked me, what'd she say? She was in my comments like, wow, you gained a lot of weight. Or she said something and I said something sarcastic back to her like, wow, I didn't notice because I'm not me, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't see myself every day. So I was just really sarcastic back to her. I'm just like, why are you like, why do you feel the need to point that out? My weight has always been something that I've struggled with or struggled to maintain. And I'm proud of myself for maintaining my weight for as long as I did. I think I maintained it from 2016 to 2018. <laughs> and then 2019, it was a wrap. No, actually, I held it. I held it together in 2019 because I was training with Body by Neeks, and she got me together. But um, I kind of fell off. I definitely fell off. Let's 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 keep it real. I definitely fell off. And you live, you go through life, you be stressing out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's a lot of factors as to why somebody could gain weight or why somebody's appearance could be different. And I just really, it it's just. Like y'all, stop, stop doing that. Cause some people are probably not as strong as me. Some people probably take that to heart. Like I take it to heart a little bit. Like, dang, yeah, I am getting away. But I know this. I don't need you to point it out to me. Like I, I know, I know. So I just pulled up to a new spot to get my feet done. It's supposed to be black on. It's called Ruby Nails. Hopefully they do good. All right, y'all, so I just finished getting my toes done, and um, they're decent, but I'm very particular and kind of picky when it comes to my toes, but I just don't like the shape of my toe. And then she had to put acrylic on one of my toenails because one of my toenails broke off, so I needed to extend. And the way she shaped it, not shaped it, the way she shaved it down is just a little bit too low for me. It looks very round and it doesn't look like it's supposed to be on my foot. <laughs>
<laughs> Hopefully next time when I go get them done when my nails are like the same length and they're not like looking weird, I'll probably like them. But yeah, that's all I really had to say about my toes. Um, yeah, I don't really like them like that. <laughs> but it will do for now. Ain't nobody really gonna be all close up with my toes. I really just got them done so they look decent when I take pictures, so yeah let me figure out where francis is because um yeah i don't know where she is um and i vlog on my phone so i'll be right back okay so that was quick she's at zoe's kitchen so i'm about to just pull up here <sighs> y'all look what i found they're huge mm -hmm. and they're ten dollars each i think they look really really pretty so uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and get them I don't think they have a smell. But I really just came in here for candles, which is what I'm standing in front of right now. Autumn. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It smells like snickerdoodle or something like that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it. Smell it, look it That's what it smells like. It smells like coffee. It does smell like coffee. <laughs> Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. I should have got a card. I wasn't supposed to be doing this right now, but here we are. I need a card. Hold on. No, no, no. You stay right here inside me. Don't touch that. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Yesterday, I just had to stop vlogging because it was just too much stuff going on, okay? Too much stuff going on. I was with my niece, I was trying to shop. Um, but yesterday after I left TJ Maxx, by the way, I got, I got way more stuff than I went there for. Um, after I left TJ Maxx, I went to Aldi's. Went to the bank yesterday before TJ Maxx. After TJ Maxx yesterday, I went to go get some groceries. And then after I left TJ Maxx, I feel like I went somewhere else. Oh, after I left TJ Maxx, I went to the mall because I need a I needed a um, strapless bra. So I went to the mall to get that. Picked it up um, from Victoria's Secrets. But honestly, the bra that I got, I feel like hmm, I'm going to take it back because that bra i had that bra before and i didn't like it because i felt like it was like hurting me i like it because it holds everything up but i don't like it because i'm super uncomfortable in the bra so i might take it back and try to do like um that new bra that they came out with that is is lightly lined it doesn't give you a lot of support but i'd rather be comfortable than have support but actually no i'd rather have support and comfort but anyway so yeah i went to the mall to do that and then when i was leaving the mall i saw um somebody at the mat counter i'm just like like y'all i've been talking a lot about this off camera with like my friends and co-workers and stuff like that but i feel like they fired us laid off i feel like laid off is just a nice word for it but anyways i feel like they laid us off to enforce budget cuts and i feel like they know that they're old employees that have been there for 15 years 14 years six, 17 years me six years um we're not going to go for a budget cut because we get raises every year so you're going to be setting us back i don't know how far and 
if y'all are paying y'all artists i feel like if they enforced a budget cut it has to be around the same price that you know clinique and all them other counters are making because they don't they they don't make as much as a mac artist but if they're doing budget cuts and they're hiring new people on it just don't make sense to me when i first got the news that i was getting laid off i was like oh okay um but it didn't really hit me until like a week later um and i wasn't really like emotional about it i was just kind of pissed off i felt very disposable and i knew that companies really don't give y'all know the word that i'm trying to say companies really don't give a f about you um i already knew that but like dang and then i went to aldi's to do some grocery shopping i just picked up some fruit and after that i was home and i was trying to edit this video that's going up at four o'clock today it's already set it's already um scheduled to go up so it's going up I actually need to correct the description box of the video, but I'm out right now, so I can't do that. And I was supposed to wake up at nine to come to this eye doctor that I'm sitting in front of right now, but my body was not doing that. Like I went to sleep at 6 a.m. in the morning. Actually, I feel like I went to sleep at eight. Um, so wasn't nobody about to wake up at 9 a.m. to be here. So now I'm here and I need to get my um, eyes checked because I need new contacts because I don't have any more contacts. I have one more right eye contact left. Okay, so I'm still blind. <laughs> one of my eyes did get better though, so that's good. Um, now I just need to go to the bank, and then after the bank, I need to go get a inspection on my car because I need to get my um, stuff renewed, so I gotta do that. And I need to go home and start filming because all of that needs to get done today. I need to do my hair today. I need to straighten it. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to film myself straightening it. The reason why I have to get all this stuff done today is because tomorrow I have clients in the morning, which start at 6 a.m. And I also don't know how long that is going to take because I'm, I'm doing makeup and then I'm also doing makeup for three people. And then I'm also um, doing two shoots. So I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Usually with photo shoots, I give myself with photo shoots, usually with photo shoots, and um makeup i give myself four hours but i'm doing two people so that's eight hours but i don't think that i don't know i don't think it's gonna take that long but then again i'm starting at 6 a.m in the morning so it might not take me that long i'm not sure but i'm trying to get all this stuff done today because i got stuff to do tomorrow and then tomorrow i actually need to pack because i'm going to ato on sunday and coming back monday just like a quick little trip um i'm going with chastity yes i'm going to vlog it because i don't ever vlog when i'm with her it's a random trip she's getting her hair done um and i was like i might as well go pulling up to brian Hanna, this part is always confusing for me because i'm just like do i sit in my car because they come up to the window and they be like um, somebody will be right out to help you, but I'm just like, do I stay in my car or do I come sit in this little area, way in place? Or like, I just be confused. Like, tell me what to do. <laughs> Y'all, I just be discombobulated all the time. It's hilarious. And this mask is too big. Oh, usually I like to clean my car out a little bit, at least vacuum it before they be in here. Cause you know, people be talking about you low key. So to all of you who are looking, yes. and you need a vehicle, come see me, Cowboy Roy. I ain't got my cowboy hat on. <laughs> I sing your song, sing your car. I yes. can do it, and, and if you can dance, I can dance. I have my car for three years now? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Call me Cowboy Roy. I'm the only one here. If anybody else say they're Cowboy Roy, they're a perpetrator. All right. So just ask for Mr. Bennett. Yep. And he just ask for me. They'll tell you. They'll call me. All right. So I am back home, and I'm about to show y'all what I got yesterday from tj maxx even though y'all already saw what i got but y'all might want to like see it see it so i'm gonna i'm gonna show y'all okay all right now that i have sat down somewhere <laughs> i can show y'all what i got from tj maxx i'm also going to be showing y'all some other stuff that i've been ordering because i need to get this stuff out of boxes so i feel like doing it in a vlog 
it's like the easiest way for me to show y'all what i've been buying so we're gonna do a little haul um i did stop by starbucks before i came home i haven't eaten anything today so i needed to pick up some food because i was hungry and then I also picked up a banana nut bread. That's what I got from Starbucks. I'll probably put the order down below. It's okay. I seen somebody post about it on Instagram. So I was like, hmm, let me try to do something like it. So Curology sent me some more of my skincare. This is the box. Um, I do have some sponsored content coming up with them. Well, not sponsored content, but I have a sponsored video coming up with them. It's gonna be my skincare routine. And it just so happens to involve Curology because y'all, my skin was really going through it and I just need to find something to clear it up. And they gave me so much time to actually try out the products and make sure it worked for me. And they didn't rush the process. Like some brands, they try to rush the process and I'm just like, hmm, you gonna have to chill because I'm not putting nothing on my channel that don't work for me and if I don't like it I'm gonna tell my subscribers I don't like it so yeah Curology wasn't nothing like that it, they have been chill calm cool and collective and they've been asking me how it's been working I'm just like y'all know what y'all doing <laughs> so they sent me refills not refills but they sent me I guess full size of the products that I already got and they work really really good i don't know what this stuff is but i'm like obsessed all right so the next thing i got is from i remember her as k razzle davis on youtube but now she has her own um shop where she sells lashes and accessories and lip gloss i have one of her lip glosses up here i don't know if y'all can see that but she did one thing and I love her products and her lip gloss. So I got this headband from her because um, when she posted, she did a shoot. When she posted her like pictures for her site on Instagram. And one of her models had this headband on with like a white wing liner. And y'all see this? I was like, I need that headband. It's so girly and pretty and dainty. I was like, I need that in my life, okay? Cause I've been into headbands lately because I low key don't be doing my hair high key. But like, isn't this so cute? Like, this is so cute. So I purchased this because I thought it was really, really cute. And I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys. You guys can purchase if you want and then I also got this headband because it was just so cute look at that like so cute so cute so cute and it's not huge because i've been seeing some headbands like this that look like bibs sitting on top of people's heads and i was like oh my gosh i hope that that headband is not huge and it's literally the perfect size and i'm like obsessed yes this is so cute all right moving on because i can't take while i'm doing this i don't think i ordered some more stuff from her uh oh and then I also got her lashes in It Girl, but I did get some lash extensions, so I won't be wearing these anytime soon. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell y'all that I got my lashes done for the first time. Um, I got them done, what, Monday? Was it Monday? No, I got them done Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? I got the volume set, if I'm not mistaken, and she used the inches 14 and 19. I think next time I'm going to try 16 inch and um, 19 because I feel like the 14 inch is a little on the natural side. Like I feel like this is not a volume set. That's not the point, but yeah, I got some lashes from her and it girl. 
and they're super pretty i also got some more lashes from amanda bizzle on instagram um but they're already in my lash drawer and i don't feel like getting up but yeah i got some lashes from her oh and then i got some jewelry from the m jewels this brand is a nameplate necklace like isn't it so cute is the packaging for me like this simple packaging i'm living for it. it's so cute like yeah like i'm obsessed this is so cute i just got my name of course i also got some stuff from royalties room here in fayville um i follow her on instagram i've never really like met her met her but we live in the same city and um she started a clothing line and i was like wait how long is this some of the stuff that you got up here is cool and i need i need it so um once she launched i was like yes i got to buy some stuff and this is what i ended up getting so i got this bodysuit I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got that bodysuit, which is right here in a size 2X, but it's a little small. Like, it's a lot of small, but it's really cute, though. Um, I'm going to try to wear it. I know I put it on, and I didn't need a bra with it at all. That's how tight it was, but I got that, and then I picked up this cute... <sighs> Sis did that, like... And it has a little strap. It has, um, what kind of hardware is this? Like dark silver hardware, whatever you call this, um, to add to it a strap. But I'll probably just wear it like this because this is so cute. I love me a good handbag. So cute. Supporting somebody local because why not? Like, sis did that. It has a nice amount of space in the inside, but I just got it because it will look really cute with what I'm trying to wear it with. So I picked that up from her. And then these shoes from Steve Madden finally came in. Like I pre-ordered these in, I feel like June or July. And they're just now getting to me. Y'all, these shoes, these shoes are so pretty i didn't open the black ones yet because i was like nah i gotta i gotta let my people know i gotta show them first you know what i'm saying we gotta experience this together so i was like i'm gonna wait till i'm filming <laughs> or vlogging to open it on camera so that we can be excited together because the black ones i feel like the black ones gonna be hitting yeah these are the nude ones and uh, y'all these do y'all see these like the camera's not doing it justice at all. Francis was calling me, so I had to just let it ring. I'm gonna call it back after I'm done with this. I feel bad for like staring at the phone, but y'all, these are, y'all. I would show y'all, but my feet aren't freshly done. So I'm not trying to have my foot in the camera like that. These are very similar to the Alexander Wang shoe, but I was like, eh, I don't feel like spending like $500 on a shoe right now. Even though that's kind of cheap for designer, especially a shoe and they didn't have my size. Like every time I went on the site to try to order it, they never had my size. So I was like, maybe it's just not meant to be. And then these came along. All right, and then I told y'all I went to Victoria's Secrets because I needed a strapless bra because my boots are huge. Um, this is, I don't know what bra this is, but it's called Body by Victoria Line Strapless Bra. And this is how it looks. This bra is uncomfortable. Like, it's secure, it's very secure, but it's very uncomfortable. Anyways, moving on to TJ Maxx. So, I picked up a cutting board from TJ Maxx. It was $7, well, $8.00. And um, I got this because I needed a bigger cutting 
cutting board because I do already have a cutting board which I showed y'all the wooden circular slab um I like that cutting board it's cute but I needed a big cutting board because I'd be cutting up a lot of stuff at one time and that cutting board really wasn't cutting it <laughs> when it came to like cutting up stuff because it was so small so yes I got this it was needed much needed and then I got this citrus juicer for my mom because she was talking about um she needed a juicer which i already got her a juicer but she made this lemonade and i was like my i don't know what she'd be doing but it's amazing and then i picked up this egg thing for the refrigerator because i low-key want my refrigerator to look a certain way and then i got these there's really no reason why i got them i just saw it and then i got another one Y'all know those are good, so that's why I picked them up, okay? Okay. And then I bought these little things right here because I've been wanting some little pompous grass or whatever you call these decorative feather things. They were so cute. This is the first thing that I saw when I walked into the home goods section part of um, TJ Maxx. And I was like, I need them. And they were only $10, so I was like, yes. I don't know how long these are going to last because they keep like shutting, but they are super cute and they're super tall so I can like put them in a corner somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but they will look so pretty just sitting in a corner. Now I need to find a vase to put them in and I got two of them. So yeah, it came up to $20 altogether and I thought that was a really good price because some of the prices I've been seeing for those things, no. And then what I really went to TJ Maxx for was candles because I'm running out of candles. This is the one that I was burning for a good two months and it's completely gone. It's, this smells so good. I wish I can find another one, but I can't find it anymore. Why am I trying to like, <laughs> y'all can't even smell it. It's, this smelled so good all right so the candles that i got i only got three i got this one this is chocolate pumpkin spice and i got it because it's brown and i was like oh it's brown like me and like this is a whole vibe even though it's like really small but it's so stinking cute and i bought this shower hat for my niece because she saw that i had like a pink shower hat from pretty little thing and she kept going in my bathroom taking my shower hat so i was like let me buy this little girl a shower hat so this is hers um it was four dollars and it comes with like a little holder that you can put in the shower so super cute super handy and then back to the candles i got this apple spice candle which will be really good for the holiday season it smells like apples and cinnamon uh, a little bit of a masculine scent in there as well. Like a cologne type of smell, but oh my gosh. It smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it. And then this is the last candle that I bought. And I just got this because it looks so like I love the color of it. Like this color is so pretty. It's called Cloud to harvest hay and clothes and this one smells really good too it smells like spice and vanilla all right y'all so that is it for this tj maxx haul honestly i feel like i'm going to end the vlog here because i need to go ahead and start getting ready it's so late i need to go ahead and start getting ready um to film and do my hair and pack up my kit and make sure all of my lighting is good for the shoot tomorrow i keep mentioning it but i really I, i'm trying to make sure i don't forget anything um update on my apartment there is no update i still don't have my furniture i know i know like um i don't even want to talk about it because <laughs> it's okay basically what's happening with my furniture the rails for my bed because i have my headboard my headboard has been sitting in my living room for about two months what's holding up my order is the rails and the people that i decided to finance my furniture 
through won't allow them to deliver my furniture um until everything is in stock and they told me that the rails for my bed is not going to be available until december the end of the year we're not doing that so i'm trying to get them to cancel the bed and refund me for the headboard that i paid cash for so that i can just get the stuff for my living room and the dining room because like i be trying to have people over my house but but there isn't anywhere for people to sit so girl a whole mess so i'm trying to figure that part out my bathroom is my bathroom i haven't put up any artwork or anything like that but i did buy some new towels for my bathroom which i'm going to show you guys in um a apartment haul video that's pretty much all the updates that i have for you guys when it comes to my apartment so i really don't have no complaints about that i just want my bed i just want my room and everything to like be a room because i still feel like i'm in limbo that's it for my rambling i will see you guys in my next vlog or my next video thank you guys so much for watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see y'all later